Hello guys, welcome to another video and today we are going to be making a bar top mini arcade cabinet. Let's get on with it. First, I used a pencil and a ruler to draw out the side panels for the cabinet. I did not have a jigsaw at this point, and so therefore used a hacksaw and a bit of the coping saw for the curved edges. I sanded it down, then I traced it out, not having to measure anything, and hacksawed the other panel down. Next was the monitor. I used an old thick board for the outer edge of the monitor. At this point, I managed to retrieve a jigsaw. I could not just start the jigsaw instantly though, so I pre-drilled some holes for my jigsaw to get into, then cutting around. The jigsaw was not able to reach the full depth of the wood, so I finished it off with the coping saw. I knocked it out at the end with the mallet, which was not the best idea. After that was the monitor stand. First I grabbed the panel from the original stand. Audio jump. Then I drilled a hole in a piece of timber and screwed the panel on the bar. I had to say it was quite strong. To support this bar, I cut some strips with a handsaw and put these on the sides and secure them in place. Getting towards the end, I cut bigger strips of timber for the top and front of the cabinet. I did not want a panel on the back because I wanted people to see the making of this and be interested in it. I supported these panels with mini wood blocks and screws. When I screwed the first one, I realised there was an easier way. These supports are reasonably cheap and are great for presentation as well as holding things together.
For the control board, I mark the center of where all the buttons in the joystick were. These marks were then drilled through with a special end bit for the power drill. I loaded in the buttons to make sure they would fit comfortably and were in working order as they should. I then put the Raspberry Pi inside, along with the cables and everything else. I made sure it was tidy at the end. I was overall very happy with this mini arcade cabinet. It looks and feels just like the original style. Many thanks to my dad, who was involved in pretty much everything. This was an attempt to be a budget build, and I felt like it has been one. If you want to make this, you only need less than a sheet of plywood. So there were some things I wanted to really improve on this. The main one is the Raspberry Pi itself. I got a Raspberry Pi Zero, which is not the most powerful thing. Um, there are more powerful versions, like the Raspberry Pi Original, Raspberry Pi 2 and Raspberry Pi 3. Um, they will probably perform better because I couldn't play every single game I wanted to. The main hack ROMs I could not play, unfortunately. I couldn't play Game Boy Advance, which was a shame. And I'm thinking it's because of the Raspberry Pi itself, it's not fast enough to actually run those games. But that's just a theory, I don't know why it doesn't work, but I think it's on the Raspberry Pi. And the second thing is this sound output wasn't working properly at the beginning. And maybe I thought the Raspberry Pi was not that powerful. So I'm, I was really thinking of upgrading it, but everything else works fine. I mean, the buttons are top quality, obviously. Um, they are quite cheap. In fact, the whole thing was not too expensive, and to buy one already made is quite expensive. It's about 200, 300 pounds, and it only cost me about 60 pounds all of this to build. So I'm really happy. Believe it or not, this. 10 quid. Well, we were gonna set 10 quid, but no one bought it. Then I, then lucky we kept it because I needed to use it for this. And yeah, and I think it was a really good project. Honestly, enjoyed it so much. It did take quite a long time. If you do have the time, please do it. Really enjoyable to make. Really fun to play. I've played it hours already. It is so fun, honestly, and. Yeah, if you like this, give a like, and if you want more content, subscribe. See you later.